The story of Jacob's ladder in Genesis is one you may be familiar with. Jacob is leaving home after robbing his brother Esau of his birthright. When he goes to sleep that night, he has a vision of a ladder all the way to heaven with angels going up and down, and God speaks to him. On the surface, this seems like a nice little vision. Jacob even says, how awesome is this place? But there's more going on here. Back in Jacob's time, gods were thought to be bound to specific locations, or even, as we will see later in Jacob's story, to idols. When Jacob flees from home, he's not just abandoning his family. He's abandoning God, too. Instead, Jacob finds the God of his fathers very present around him in the world beyond his home. This would have been a very terrifying thing for him to realize. He cannot escape God, even if he wants to. This place is awesome, less because it's neat, and more because it is worthy of respect if this God, who can be present anywhere, was manifest to Jacob there. Where God's presence beyond his home would have shocked and maybe even terrified Jacob, it should be a source of hope for us. No matter what we are going through, God will be there. If we are happy, sad, or even lonely, God will be present with us. No matter where we are, and no matter where we go or can't go, God will be with us, journeying with us always.